Hey, Penny Bash. It is the 9th of February, 2019, and I'm led back to this Israeli Moonlander thing, and let me just tell you that there is so much to this little event right here. I mean, it is very meaningful in, in the physical, natural world, the, the spiritual world, in every aspect, on every layer. This is a ritual. It is so many things. And I'm going to try and show it to you, what's been shown to me, the best I can. Um, the very first paragraph of this article will cover this entire video. I think that's as far as I'll be able to make it. But anyway, they're saying now that this thing will launch on the 19th, this month, 19th February. This article came out on the 5th, just a few days ago, 1609. And in the first paragraph, I start reading this and it just is like, whoa. Okay, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu presented a government initiative called Shalom Moon that will launch a sophisticated Israeli moon lander in order to create a profile of the moon's magnetic field and to understand its origin. Netanyahu said with pride that in doing so, Israel thus enters among the greatest powers in the world. Stop. <laughs> I got filled up on that first paragraph. Bear with me here. This is what I was led to do. Uh, uh, to take this term right here, Shalom Moon, and put it in the Gematria. In the Jewish, of course. And I get 369, which is a combination of numbers that we could go down a numerable amount of roads with this. But what I was led to do is very interesting, okay, because it relates to the the very name of this thing, the in the beginning, the Alpha, the Omega, right? The Alpha Bet, right? And I was led to the Alpha Bet, the Hebrew Alpha Bet, the 369. Because what Netanyahu is really saying here with pride, okay? Get a load of this. The three, self-will or pride. The six, a peg or hook to join together, secure, becoming bound. The nine, the snake, the serpent, to surround or twist, coil, right? So Netanyahu saying, with pride, <laughs> that we are bounding ourselves among the greatest powers in the world. Who's the prince of the world? Those are in the world. The serpent. It says it right there. It's being revealed to us right there. That through their self-will and pride, they have bound themselves to the serpent. And that's what they've done. Only one of four, three other countries that have done it. And Bereshit, which means in the beginning, caused me to think of way back in the day, NASA, Apollo 8. This is the only time ever that they have recorded the Bible being read in space. The first ten verses of the book of Genesis were read in Apollo 8, which took off on December 21st, 1968. Of course, it has to be the, the solstice, right? So get a load of this. December 21st, and this thing is taking off on February 19th, right? You can't make this up. 1221, the 2112 to 219 of this year. 18, 322. And that's a, really all I'm, as far as I'm going to go with this. Because I just see the 666, the beast. This is his work, his doing. And they think that they are going to eat of the tree of life and live forever without judgment. That's what they think right there and this is just amazing how it's like spelled right out for us right there what they're doing they do their work in the dark they say who sees us who knows us well we see you and there's so much more to this you guys that i gotta do it in bits and pieces or else you know i'll just like i don't know what i'll do i could probably go into a little more here this is this is going pretty well i guess <laughs> It's insane, you guys. Uh, the moon landers in the beginning, the alphabet. Okay, you got to keep that in mind. 
They're also sending 27 dictionaries and encyclopedias. Well, in the Thelema, in the Kabbalic, you know, black magic, they use these other five symbols. They're very meaningful. So if you take the Hebrew 22-letter alphabet and you add the five, it's the 27. It's the last. I got to show you this stuff because it's it's meaningful, okay? That is the Zedi, and I'll show you where this comes from. This is just a glossary, but it's it's important that people understand that this is what they practice. It's black magic. It's it's literally alchemy, all the sorcery. It's all mixed into one. And Crowley was just like there to update the system, so to speak, you know. But this is what that twenty-seven represents right here, the twenty-seventh and final letter of the alphabet, the final letter of the alphabet which means the next revolution is begun. The Aleph enlarged. Okay, this is how they operate. This is how they think. And this is what they do. And it's all in the dark, and it's all just there to trap people into the lie and keep them from knowing God, their true creator, the one who sent the Savior to die and raise so that they can have eternal life but there is judgment, but there's a cleansing through the blood of Christ. Seek Jesus, folks, or you'll be deceived. I hope this makes sense and blesses someone. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 